Welcome to Genetic Counseling Awareness Channel with Katie Lee. All the best resources you'll ever need at Genetic Counseling Awareness Channel. Hi everyone, it's me, Katie Lee CGC, and welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing? Today I'm answering a quick question that I found on Discord that I thought was worth answering. This question reads, Context, I have a heavy wet lab research background and absolutely hate bench work and have been exploring career paths. I'm super interested in genetic counseling for several reasons that I have explored that I don't wanna bore you with, but I have two main concerns and I'm just gonna separate these into two different questions. So I'm gonna answer concern one. Not sure how seriously GCs are taken because they are neither PhDs or MDs. Great question. I think that is a question that a lot of people considering the career wonder about, especially the people who are considering maybe becoming a doctor or considering getting a PhD instead. Let me give you my take on it. I think it's really going to depend on two things. One, it's very much going to depend on the team that you have, the team that you work with. And two, it's going to depend on how you carry yourself as a genetic counselor and how you interact with your team and utilize your expertise. So I would say in the different jobs that I've held, I've only had one job where I did not feel particularly respected. Or I shouldn't say respected, I, should, I definitely felt, I felt respected, nobody was disrespecting me, but I did not feel like I was taken particularly seriously or like anyone was very excited to hear my input or my take on things. Um, I felt like my input was not always received if I had a different opinion than the medical director or than one of the physicians. And oftentimes people didn't always wanna hear why. That was also one of the jobs I held when I was less experienced. So I don't know if I was being confident enough to really um, assert myself and explain when I had an opinion that differed from others. So yes, I've had a job where I did not feel like my role as a genetic counselor felt very valued. Now, on the other hand, I've had three jobs where I felt like my role as a genetic counselor was highly valued and highly respected, where IVF doctors were calling me to ask me questions about genetic test results and almost always were incredibly thankful for the information I provided. I've also worked at startups and small businesses where I was the only genetic counselor. And in those positions, I felt like my role was highly valued, highly respected because they hired me for my expertise and they turned to me for all things related to genetics and genetic counseling. So in general, my answer is you can absolutely find many roles where you will feel respected, where you will feel like you are very much taken seriously. But I'm guessing not everyone feels that way who does genetic counseling. So if that is one of your priorities when you're interviewing for different roles, you'll want to ask questions that kind of get at that topic. Like how do I interact with teammates? Um, you'll want to talk to other genetic counselors if they have some and ask questions like, you know, do you feel like you are taken seriously? Do you feel like your opinion is valued? And you can feel those things out at interviews for jobs. So yes, in my experience, I have very much felt respected and taken seriously in my role as a genetic counselor. And that's one of the things I love about it is when doctors, PhDs, um, patients feel comfortable asking me my opinion and listening to the advice or the information that I provide them. All right, let me know what questions you have about genetic counseling down below in the comments. And if you like this kind of content, please like and subscribe. Bye guys.